up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up? My name is Danielle, nice to meet ya. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and it's usually a good time around here. So uh, join the Dan fam, why not, right? <laughs> Anyways, today it's a little bit of a rainy day outside and I've been on Instagram all day and I was just thinking to myself, a lot of you guys have been asking me about Instagram. I'm an avid Instagrammer, I adore Instagram. It is my second favorite social media behind YouTube. YouTube's the number one. But um, I've been having so much fun, especially over the summer because I'm traveling a lot. So with traveling comes even more opportunities for pictures and so much fun. It's just like honestly like a way, a form of art, I think, like photography. It's just, I think it's super creative and I think it's super fun. So I've been having some fun with it. And I know that you guys have been liking my pictures too. So I appreciate it. So obviously if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might as well if you're watching this video. Um, check out my Instagram, it's at Danielle Marie YT. Um, I post just... I post my outfits of the days almost every day or every other day at least and um, a lot of like travel pictures and just I'm always updating you guys on there because that's where I have the most followers on my social media so that's like the main source of like I guess contact that I have with you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my theme. I change it up every now and then and it's a, a lot of you guys are like oh my god you went back to the black and white theme or oh my god you're at a colorful theme now what the heck. I'm like whoa let's chill here for a second. I'm gonna be sitting here talking to you guys about how to make your Instagram feed goals. Um, that's so basic to say but like I love going through people's Instagrams and like oh my god like the Instagram theme is just on point and I know we all like it too. Hate on me if you want but it's a thing. I know it. So basically I have about five or six tips for you guys on how to create your own Instagram and like your theme or just how to take fun pictures, ideas, inspiration, like kind of how I get inspiration for my Instagram and just I wanted to make this video different than all the others so hopefully it'll be a little unique for you guys and you'll learn something new. Um, and I'll also be telling you guys obviously the filter I've been using recently. It always changes depending on what I'm doing and what looks best but I should be telling you guys everything and how to plan out your theme. It's, it's gonna be a good time. Let's talk about Instagram. Like when you like have that self realization moment you're like I want to up my Instagram theme like I want to change it up I want a new me new Instagram like fun stuff first thing you have to decide is if you want to do a theme I'm not saying themes the way to go but it's kind of the thing recently it's just fun what theme do you want and you know your theme could transition obviously I mean it does for me too depending on what you're doing so let's say it's summer right now maybe you want to do more of a colorful theme so you're gonna plan around that and then then once you figure out if you want to do a colorful theme or you want your theme to be very white and like bright or if you want to do more of a dark sultry like super contrasted like you need to decide these things so that when you're taking pictures in the future you're like oh like that would go great with my theme oh that's so cringe but like I really do that. <laughs> comment down below if you guys take pictures because it goes with your theme because I, I can't be the only one but usually when you have a theme you're gonna edit all the pictures the same way so my two favorite apps to edit pictures on are uh, Afterlight and Visco Cam. I used to only use Afterlight and Visco was just more sort of whatever just for fun. Uh, but I've recently been using um, Visco more and I have to give creds to my friend Brooke, um, Brooke Michio here on YouTube. You guys should all go subscribe to her. I love her videos so much and her Instagram theme right now is popping. She's in LA for the summer and I'm just, I was just like wow. And I asked her what filter she uses and she uses A6. It's one of the aesthetic collections and it's free. You just go on Visco Cam and you go to like download a filter and you go to the A collection or aesthetic collection and um, it's free. And I use A6. I love it. It makes everything look um, just very nice and cool. It gives it a little bit of a brightness to it but kind of also kind of sultry and cool. Um, I'm really into it right now. Another way to figure out what filters you're going to use is um, Go on Pinterest, and you can go on my Pinterest as well. I've been pinning a ton of things recently about Instagram themes and stuff. It's really cool. It's on the internet nowadays. Um, I have my Pinterest link down below every every time I post a video, so if you want to check that out. There's literally someone on Pinterest that posts, like, different filter combinations, and, like, we'll say, like, if you go on Visco, to get this look of a, of a theme, it's like, and I'll put, like, pictures right here, but it's like, to get this look for this Instagram theme, you use this filter and put the contrast up plus two and then you know the brightness minus one and the saturation plus two like it's so cool it literally tells you exact like formula as to how to get your picture to look like that so I think that's so cool and there's so many different looks so if you have like a favorite Instagrammer most likely how they edit their pictures is on Pinterest somewhere so I'll try to put the link down below for where you can find all these or I'll put a screenshot here so you can look for it I'll try to help you out in any way I can my second tip is um, have a way of planning out your theme. This is kind of extreme, but I do it. Um, a lot of people do it. Have a way of planning out your theme before posting. Because no one likes, 
I mean, no one likes it. I always feel so self-conscious when I post a picture on Instagram, then I have it up for like a minute, and it's already getting likes, and I'm like, oh my god, it doesn't go with my theme, I hate it, so I delete it, and everyone's like, uh, and it's just so awkward, so to avoid that awkwardness, there's this app called Un Um, I don't really know how to pronounce it, um, one of my friends, Griffin, here on, um, YouTube, Griffin Arnland, she said one of her really good friends created the app, so I thought that was so cool. Basically, it already, like, load once you download it you connect your Instagram to it and it downloads all your pictures like in the exact order on your feed on your Instagram and it automatically updates and then it has boxes above it where you can put in like let's say okay and you're thinking about posting this picture and you get to see it side by side and see if it looks good and you can literally plan on a ton of pictures so and you can look schedule your posts and stuff it's kind of cool my third tip is just about the actual pictures I know sometimes people are like I don't know what to do when I'm posing for a picture I don't know I've been going on Pinterest a lot recently. You can get photo ideas, like, or Tumblr. There's just cool pictures that people take, like, candid shots. Like, let's say in front of the beach, like, different poses they do. Or, like, things that they do with, like, sandcastles. Or it's, like, super cute stuff that I get inspiration from just by looking at other people's pictures. And screenshotting those. I literally have, like, a Pinterest board. I think it's called, like... Insta-worthy or something and it's just like a ton of different Instagram photos that I loved and I get inspiration from So that's always fun if you want to do a little photo shoot with your friends. It's summer. Why not? I do it all the time with my friends My friend came over today and we took a ton of pictures. It was a blast and a half My fourth tip is to stockpile your photos and this is if you live Let's say you live in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing cool to take pictures of But I doubt it because no matter where you are you can take cool pictures You just don't believe in yourself You don't have to be at the Santa Monica Pier to take cool pictures Like you can take pictures in front of a white wall or the side of a barn and it looks super cool, okay? For example like whenever I go to New York City I take a ton of pictures I take a ton of outfit pictures I'll take pictures with this wall with this coffee and I kind of like stockpile them so if my themes just kind of like going down I don't have many pictures to go with it I'm like oh I have this picture from New York City I'll post that and it goes with my theme so that's something you could do my fifth tip is kind of along with the inspiration thing but I just want to tell you guys some of my favorite Instagrammers so you can kind of get an idea of what inspiration I get um, because I just love these people. So I love Sincerely Jules on Instagram. Her Instagram, she just travels everywhere. She has the coolest pictures, best fashion sense ever. Love her Instagram. I also really like Mariana Hewitt. I think that's how you say it. She's very similar to Sincerely Jules. They just have the coolest style, travel all over, great life. Um, and then I also really like Tash Oakley. She's like a really famous model. Um, I'm obsessed with her. She travels all around Europe especially. Takes really cool pictures and she just looks like she's having a good time. And my last tip for you guys or just kind of advice is there is an issue now day and age and it happens to me too where we're focused too much on getting the perfect picture rather than actually enjoying the moment. And I found myself struggling with this recently, like during summer, especially when you're having a good time, you're like, wait, I can't even enjoy myself until I get that perfect picture and then I'll stress, I won't stress about it, I'll post it and then I'll go have fun. That's an issue and like I, I, I do it all the time. I realize that about myself and it's, it's bad. So my biggest thing is yes, take all the fun pictures you can because it's fun to remember things, but also don't forget to live in the moment and don't forget to enjoy it and actually appreciate, like if you're taking a candid shot, actually laugh, you know? Sometimes just live in the moment and maybe your friend will catch a cool picture of you anyway. So yeah, that is my video on how to make your Instagram goals. I hope this advice helped you in any way. Please comment down below if you like this video and video quests that you guys have. I've got a lot more time over the summer and I want to film great videos for you guys that you want to see, but I just don't know what you guys want to see. So let me know down below. Also let me know if you like this video and follow me on Instagram if you want to see what's up. And yeah. Um, I love you guys very, very, very much, and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye, guys!